Installing your Watts Pure Water System is very straightforward, and you'll only need a few simple tools to do it, including a small knife or tube cutter, a variable speed drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, an adjustable wrench, and a Phillips screwdriver. Now, as an important note, you must install this on the cold water side. If you install on the hot water side, you will damage the system and void the warranty. So, the first step is to turn off your cold water supply at the angle stop, typically the knob on the right-hand side here. Once turned off, you'll want to turn on your kitchen faucet to drain and depressurize the system. Then, you'll disconnect the kitchen faucet hose from the cold water angle stop. Be sure to place a small bowl underneath the cold water angle stop to catch any water runoff when disconnecting the kitchen faucet hose. Finally, you're going to install the kitchen faucet adapter directly to the cold water supply stop, and then reconnect the cold line from the faucet to the top of the kitchen faucet adapter. This will create a T connection for the system. Next, we're going to install the cartridge, which you'll notice has two round ports and a key on the top. Position the cartridge with the label facing to the left so the indicator marks line up with the system head. Lift and turn the cartridge a quarter turn to the right. When installed correctly, the label will be facing the front of the system. Now you're going to mount the bracket to your kitchen cabinet, allowing two to three inches of clearance below the filter for easy filter removal and replacement. To determine your mounting location, just take the system head with the filter cartridge installed and place it inside your cabinet. Raise it up two to three inches from the floor of the cabinet and use a pencil to mark the eyelet holes in your bracket. And that's where you're going to use the 1 8 drill bit to drill your pilot holes to install your mounting screws. Next, you're going to insert your mounting screws into the wall with a screwdriver or drill, leaving approximately 3 8 of an inch to slide the mounting bracket onto the mounting screws like this. If you look at the head from the top, you'll notice the word IN on the left of the housing to help identify the inlet side, and another window indicating OUT on the right. Your inlet connection is always going to be on the left side of the head. Measure the distance required to connect both the inlet and outlet side of your system to the now installed kitchen faucet adapter connection using the provided tubing. Making sure to leave enough extra length so your line doesn't get kinked if you're servicing the system. For example, if you measured 10 inches, 11 should be fine. Your main goal is to avoid any 90 degree angles or big loops. After measuring both the inlet and outlet sides, use your knife or tube cutter to get a nice, clean, flush cut across the tube, making sure there are no burrs or fragments. Once you have a clean cut, wet one end of the 3 8 plastic tubing with water and push into the inlet connection of the system approximately 5 8 of an inch until it reaches the tube stop. Connect the other end of the tubing to the inlet side of the kitchen faucet adapter, which will be the bottom quick connect connection you see here. The inlet is always on the bottom and the outlet is always on the top. Repeat this process for the outlet side shown in the instruction manual diagram as the black line. Once the system is completely connected, turn on your cold water supply at the angle stop and turn your cold water faucet handle to the open position to allow water to flow through your system. You're going to run this for about 10 minutes to flush out air and carbon fines from the system, which you'll know is flushed out when the water turns from gray to clear. Close the faucet when finished, and then check for leaks frequently over the first 24 hours. If you have any leaks, they are typically at one of these six points, which you can just hand tighten and recheck. Now enjoy your nice clean water and visit us at watts.com slash pure water.